Okay, here it is. 2014 four-door Wrangler. Finally got a Rubicon. Um, sold the Cherokee, the red Cherokee to a buddy. Sold my Mustang and sold my Ranger and went down to just a four-door Wrangler. Uh, moved across the country to Nevada. Beautiful October day. I'm out on some... It's either BLM or National Forest Land that's about 10 minutes from my apartment. Just want to do a walk around. This is the last time it'll look quite like this. I've already got plans for it. The only mod so far is a CB radio. Cobra 75. I wanted to do the dash mount. The goal was to not drill any holes or do any permanent modifications to the Jeep um, since it is so nice. At least to me it's really nice. Um, used a some bracket from Sun Pie Corporation or something. I don't know. It was on Amazon for 20 bucks. Works pretty good. Looks really good. Jeep only has 23,000 miles on it. 23,000 miles. Automatic navigation. Rubicon, obviously. And I use the, uh, I think it's the Rugged Ridge CB bracket with a three foot Firefly fire stick antenna. I love this color, makes me so happy. Done a little bit of wheeling with it. Um, we've took it exploring every weekend since we've moved out here uh, to a couple different places. I'll throw a few photos in here. but haven't actually done any real hardcore off-roading or anything like that yet. I'm sure we'll get there at some point. Um, the Jeep was, a, I'm the second owner, the original owner towed it behind an RV. So it's got slots cut in the air dam where the tow bar was mounted and it's got a uh, uh, an electrical receiver attached to the battery so that it can receive power from the RV while it was being towed run the brake lights and that sort of thing. So, still running the original tires. They look good. I mean, they're pretty tough tires. I've got some chunking on the side, on these side lugs already, but it's not too bad. The, some of these roads out here are ridiculously tough. Just the amount of sharp rocks sticking out. So, but they're holding up good. I don't have any plans to replace them quite yet. They're, um, Jeez, they probably still got 80% trade life on them. The spare hasn't been used. So I'll be running those. Lift plans. I'm going to do two and a half inches. I think I'm going to go with AV this time. On my two door, I used springs off of a four door Rubicon to give it about an inch and then I put on a budget boost from Rubicon Express and I really like that combination. It rode really well and it worked really well but um, it's not going to work this time so I want to go with a complete system and I want to go with something that uh, is going to ride really well because I do commute with this pretty far. So first and foremost it needs to be comfortable on the road and livable. Long-term goals, um, we're going to get the Ursa Minor pop top. I'm not a big fan of this soft top. It's really cumbersome. It's really noisy. It doesn't fit very well. 
and um, I hate rooftop tents I think for the most part they just not very uh, easy to use easy to live with if you deploy the rooftop tent you can't move the vehicle again that sort of thing so we're gonna keep tent camping ground camping for the time being maybe in a year or so replace the top with an Ursa Minor that's the goal anyway and since I'm on the west coast now I can just drive to their shop and have them put it on for me instead of trying to ship a hard top and then pick it up but uh yeah so that's it next mods we're gonna be actually before I get to that we're gonna be taking it camping this weekend first real long extended weekend camping trip to Tahoe National Forest so that'll be its first uh outing that's lasted more than just just a day trip we've done nothing but day trips so far so we'll get to take it out and live out of it for a few days but i already know a couple things i'm going to get right off the bat i'm going to get the i can't remember exactly what it's called the vector off-road jke bar thing i don't know what it's called it said bar that goes across the dashboard so that you can add ram mounts i'm definitely going to do that so i can mount my phone and I'm definitely going to get a tailgate table because since it's a soft top, having to get in and out of the back is already hard enough. And I want to be able to put things, whether it be camp stove or box of ammo, whatever it is, on the tailgate table. I had the, the Molly attachments on my last JK and I hated it. It was a terrible decision. So I'm definitely going to get a tailgate table, I'm going to give it the Outback, Outback Off-Road, I think is what it is. going to get the Outback table and uh, just be done with it, just get the best one they make and not have to worry about it again. So... I'm going to keep these wheels, I really like them. I'm going to put some spacers behind them and then when I get the uh, two and a half inch lift Probably go with 35 inch Dura tracks uh, just for their uh, friendly daily driver friendliness and the uh, winter performance that they offer. I had them on my second Cherokee and I loved them, so I'm gonna get them again, I think, after these uh, factory tires wear out a little more and I get the time and motivation to install the lift. But yeah, that's it. There will be much more coming. Um, we've been exploring every weekend, every opportunity we can. So I'm sure we'll be a lot more. I haven't really filmed anything. Just trying to get my bearings out here. But a lot to see, a lot to do. Really happy. Things are coming along pretty good. So next video... I guess the next video I make will probably be our camping trip in Tahoe. We'll see. We'll see how much filming I do. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned.